good YouTube? It's your boy Jay, your registered nurse, and it's time to jump back into my hair transplant journey. Let's get into it. It's day 14, and y'all know I'm good for the clip, so before I even say anything, let me give you some day 7 to day 14, because we don't do the small talk out here. Run the clip. What's up, guys? I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all a real. Just woke up, called my doctor, and I confirmed that I could take a shower now and I could let the water hit it. So I'm about to soak my forehead up, get this going in circular motions, try to get these scabs off. Let's go. Just got out the shower, just finished my first wash. I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. It feels great to touch and feel my scab and, I mean, my scalp. I had to step out real quick, just a quick little outside. That's what it looks like. bad bro let it come in all right so you guys know after the clips i like to give you a you know full circle of my hair and i did do a haircut today because today is day 14 and the doctor said i could cut my hair so i was like whoop whoop we was hype so let me show you what my head looks like on day 14 check it out so this is the front this is the left side This is the right side. And this is the back. I know I went over one product I use, but I'm going to go over all the products that I currently use. And you guys could check it out. Let me know. I'm going to put links in the bio so you know what the products are. Product number one. It's called Ten Skin, all right? This helps with any ingrown hairs or hair root bumps that you might have in the back of your head. As you guys can see, I don't have too much uh, hair root bumps on the back because I use this very frequently. I'm gonna put it, the name of it on the screen so you guys can see as well. Ten Skin Solution, it's amazing. Especially if you're doing SMP and you don't wanna do a transplant, just when you shave and you get a lot of bumps, Ten Skin works miracles. Product number two. So you always want to do good vitamins, good nutrients in the body. And I went with a vitamin here and biotin gummy. All right. This has 10,000 micrograms per two gummies. And let me tell you something, guys. This is delicious, bro. This is so good. Um, it also comes with a lot of vitamin A, C, D, B12, B6. Um, of course, some sugar. Of course, some folic acid, some iron, some zinc, some choline. Uh, you're going to need a great multivitamin to take daily. That's going to help with your skin. That's going to help with the healing. That's going to help with growth. All right. Product number three. In my personal opinion, I like collagen. Collagen is one of the building blocks of the skin along with amino acids, along with vitamin E and uh, keratin. So this goes back into the healing. This goes into the growth. I get a collagen pill that I take. This one is called uh, Euthero. Comes with vitamin C, biotin, and hydrolyzed collagen types one, two, and three. Um, you guys could look into collagen and educate yourself on that, but it's great for growth, uh, hair growth. Uh, I was using it previously for my beard growth before I had to cut my beard for my new job. Product number four. Product number four is a derma roller, okay? Now, I won't be using Rogaine, at least not for now, and I won't be using Propecia. I just don't like the effects on the body. I used to use Rogaine, and the reason I stopped using Rogaine quick sidebar is because uh, Minoxidil or Rogaine, it decreases the reuptake of 
the hormone or the enzyme that helps produce collagen and allows it to get to that area of the skin. So that's why a lot of people end up having, you know, wrinkles in their skin or dark marks because, you know, that's what collagen does. Collagen, you know, helps with elasticity and gives you the color and the youthful look. But when you use Rogaine, it kind of takes that away a little bit. Basically, a derma roller is a micro needling object that allows piercings in the skin, very minute, and you can put you know, growth oil or serum or whatever you use at home, you can put it directly into that area. So I'll just give you an example. I use, I bought it for my beard, not for my hair, but I will be using it on both. All right, you wanna go vertical, you wanna go horizontal, you wanna go vertical, you wanna go horizontal. And I do have a soft spot here. You wanna go vertical, you wanna go horizontal. And you don't need to apply a lot of pressure. It's a very simple tool and you can feel it. And this introduces you guys to my number five, which is my hair repair serum. Okay, I've seen this on Instagram and it just looks so good. I looked at the ingredients and it's a homemade, um, you know, remedy by Evan Alexander, some guy on Instagram, I don't know. <laughs> And, um, you know, I just put a couple drops on the top, put a drop here, put a drop there, and we're good to go. All right, you just want to massage that in for a little while, all right? Let your face really take in if you're trying to grow your beard or any soft spots. You just want to rub it in, okay? And that's it, all right? So that's what I'll be doing to help my hair grow. I know you guys seen it and has been wondering what it is. If you do know what it is, you're absolutely right. If you don't, I will let you know. It is a eye restore. Let me unbox it and show you what it is. So an eye restore is a laser therapy helmet. Um, I know a lot of people who get hair transplants, the facilities offer low, low light or low emitting laser therapy that helps the hair growth. This is 25 minutes per session. You only do it every other day or every two days. You just press power, you press start. And as you can see, there's some red lights that are protruding and it just does its thing for 30 minutes. You could watch a show, you can be on your phone. I won't lie, it is a bit heavy. So, you know, what I like to do is I like to just lean back to the point of my couch and relax so I don't have any neck pain. But this was kind of pricey. Um, I Restore is about 550 I got it on, you know, let go. Somebody was selling one. I previously had one and I sell I sold mine on let go. So I kind of trust the Lego system. But you know, it clearly works and that's it. Alright, so I have two more products left, and these are like fun products I bought for myself. I bought a brush. <laughs> a real nice brush, and it's just incentive, you know. It just you it's one of those feel-good things. You just have to buy something to make you feel good about the decision. Help you keep going in the right direction, okay? I did cut my hair and it came out. It came out pretty okay. And it's only 14 days. I know a lot of it's going to fall out. A lot of it already has, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, you need incentive presence to keep yourself mentally okay, all right? And, of course, I had to get the Velveeta, you know? I had to get the the, the silk on one side and the, whoo, the velvet on the other. Oh, my God. Which brings me to my next product. Product number seven i bought two silk pillowcases it's always good to have uh silk dressing on the bed because you know that's where we sleep uh you're gonna spend six to eight hours on that bed tossing and turning and if you're on cotton or any other you know cotton blend of material it will pull at your hair so if you're not gonna have a wrap it's always good to you know have a silk pillowcase in or silk sheets and because your your, your hair doesn't pull on silk just remember, it takes a lot of mental stamina to make any decision and follow through with it. I'm not going to lie, I was feeling very regretful, very down and out these last couple of days. But when I got the green light to cut my hair, I'm kind of, you know, good at barbering. So, you know, I got a chance to really see, you know, my head at the, you know, the angles that I actually wanted it and desired it to be at. Because I never wanted it to be longer or whatever. I just want like a nice uh, low cut. So... You know, this is like a little bit of the potential. I can see it and it made me feel a lot better and I have to go to work soon. So, you know, just seeing this allowed me to feel better in myself. 
Don't forget to find someone to confide in. You know, it's always good. Don't wear this burden on your own. Okay, find someone to confide in just to talk, express your emotions. Um, it's a big decision. It's a life-changing decision. And, you know, it comes with a lot of cons. You know, the money, the scarring, it might not work. So it's good to just bounce these ideas off someone and just express yourself. That's why we're on this journey together, right? I'm not the ideal hair transplant uh, recipient, okay? I've had doctors tell me they can't work on me. And then I finally met a doctor that said he can so I don't have a lot. I didn't have a lot of donor. I only got 1500 That's really on the lower side. Um, but I did it, okay? And I'm not saying I did this for the people who can't really get a transplant, but I, I'm just a prime example. So, you know, when I was going through the process, I've only seen people get 3000 2500 5000 I knew that wasn't going to be me. So, you know, I'm just, I'm representing the hair transplant journey generally, but anyone who knows they're not a good person you know, candidate, um, I'm in the same shoes, all right? And I just took a leap and, you know, I'm just going to trust the process and see how it works out. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, all right? Please like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, laugh at the videos, comment, and we can have conversation about any other questions that I didn't go over in this video. Otherwise to that, thanks for rocking with your boy, Jay. It's your registered nurse, and I'm going to see you next time on the hair transplant journey.